Kong 3-4 being transmitted to destination Lark Hall. Intention to gather information. Well, hello. I like your scanners. You do? Now, they're paintbrushes, actually. They scan matter effectively. Excellent. I didn't know that. What do you sell in this shop? We've got elastic to hold your, your trousers up. We've got wedding rings. We've got all sorts of things here, haven't we? And you're finding them. So you're not from around here, then, eh? From the sun. From the sun, I see. Wow. You find it interesting here? Yeah. You do. Did you fall here in this shop or outside or on the floor of the hill? On the floor of the hill. Welcome. It's where King Lear was born apparently. On Salisbury Hill. He also his father fell out of the sky. And in the shadow of his broken wings, there was a baby boy and it was King Lear, so on top. Well, that one, that's You're not related. We aren't human. I need that one back. How long have you lived in that call? 61 years. I've been working here since I was eight. I was a very young Saturday boy. This used to be a baker's. The ovens are still downstairs. I'll show you in a minute. And when we took the structure down, that was holding all the flour. Inside the structure was a bullet, a very long bullet from the last war here. And we had to dispose of that. And we gave it to a local policeman. And he got rid of it for us. Come and see the ovens. There we are, you're right in the bottom of the shop now, in the bowels of the shop. And this used to be a bakery. And on this side, over here, look, this is where we used to this is the oven in, inside here, where they used to bake the bread. And they came out of the oven on great long paddles, wooden paddles, and they put it on these racks here and dry them, or cool them. And then when they were the right temperature, they'd open up the trap door up in the ceiling and throw them up there two at a time. They'd catch them in the shop and put them on the stairs. And that was a staple diet then, bread. Do you still eat bread? Oh yes, oh yes, but we don't make it anymore. What is the reason? To stay alive. How do you stay alive? We absorb the sun energy. I see. For water. Excellent. Photosynthesis. Of course. Dominant organisms found. different to me, you know, it looks strange. I used to aliens, I'm aliens myself. You know that? <laughs> Have you always lived here? I came over to England 1960. It's a November month. I can't remember the date, but it's November 1960. I came to England and um, a lot of steam was coming out the chimney. And I said, Christ, a lot of people making sugar. 
I didn't know it was central heating. Because we, we don't know, we don't use central heating. We didn't, I didn't know about it. And I said, oh, a lot of people making sugar. But in the end, after, later on, I get to find out it was heating, central heating. And it, the, the, chimney, the steam was going out, up in the, the air. You know, but where I live, they didn't have no central heating. And I have to, we use paraffin heater. I don't know if you know paraffin. Because they don't sell it now, do they? is local grown you can see around here not a lot over there because we've just cleaned it but all this sort of stuff is locally grown yes do you grow stuff on your planet we can't you can't why is that it is too hot it's too hot how is it you survive is it the makeup of your skin or we feed you the feed sun. oh i see is this something to do with it yes oh i see this is does this attract the sun it does oh i see talisman Actually, it's a talisman Hello, Tony. <laughs> All right. Good You're a lovely you. lion. Nice to see you. You're a lovely lion. On a lovely day. Yeah. What can we do for you? Well, I want to tell you. But I, right. I'll have a few potatoes. A few potatoes. No, devil you are. <laughs> so what would you like? Some new ones and small ones? Yeah. All right, girls. Yeah. All right. They're aliens, dear. Aliens. Yeah, they won't be able to they won't understand you, but you know, oh, I'm sure. Oh, I know I understand them because I looked after them when they were little. Oh, ones. you knew the li little <laughs> ones. Right, that's fine then, that's yeah, okay. Okay. It's quite, um, isn't it? That's, you, are, you doing, are you facing that towards me for a reason? Because it's got some effect on me. I can sense this. Yes, I see. Yes, it's absolutely very, very clever then. Are you alright? Have you got feelings? No. You haven't got feelings at all. What have you got for me? That's this is a, a carrot for that, my collection. For my collection, which will go with that collection that I've got down there. Yes, it scans matter effectively. Scans matter effectively. Nice to have met you. Have a safe journey home. Thank you. Put that with my collection. What is your file name? File name? John. John Gray. Don't you have a number? No. Why not? We don't have numbers, we have names. Hold. When you hold, I feel emotions. You feel emotions? Are they emotions? Yes, they're from me. Yes. What is dancing? That's dancing. To music. What is music? information about Lark Hall. Knowledge. Knowledge. About Lark Hall. About the location which we are in. Lark Hall. <laughs> Very fine place to live, yes. We do music and dancing and filmmaking and aliens by the looks of things. The piano follows finite amounts of mathematical equations played in an order through harmonic changes. Do you want to go? Next interaction. What is this place? It's a 
hairdressing salon to make your hair look all nice and trendy. What is that? What's on your head? What is your vile name? Uh, I have a name. My name's Vanessa. Do you know what it means? What, Vanessa? Actually, if you look it up, it means butterfly. My helmet is dirty. Can you wash it? Um, I'm not sure. I think it probably needs proper specialised cleaning fluid. I suppose the fact that it's now gone back to where it was 150 years ago, because the, the history of the church in those days was it was the, it was the, the place cable people came to when they had medical needs because there was no medical service. It was where they came for educational needs, so the church helped to provide something in the way of, of, of education. And it was also where people came if they had needs. So they were, there was a, there was a what they call a Terry's Cold Fund that went for a long time, where they provided people with, with fuel when they're in great need. And now, 150 years later, a lot of those things still happen in different ways. What is St Xavier's? St Xavier's is the name that we used in, in Larkhall for the school and it's also the name that's used for the church. We've got some pictures here of the children in St Xavier's school here. This was taken in 1929 and the bottom one is taken a little bit later in 1936. And all the children from, from Larkhall went to one school together and they were all mixed together, all the different ages in the same class. Subdominant organisms. Hungry. I have no food. I do not eat. Can you speak? No. Next interaction. What was a sad time? We had a paraffin lamp in the house and I had my two boys, two kids, one was three and one was 18 months and uh, that morning, a Saturday morning, like now, and um, I leave them upstairs and I went downstairs to do some washing with my hand, we didn't have washing machine and the same morning it was Winston Churchill funeral and we didn't have no telly but somebody else lived in the house of telly. And a lot of people was watching it. And I couldn't, didn't have time to watch it because I got to hurry up to get everything done. And I washed clothes, put them out, and said, no, I'm going upstairs with some milk and some biscuit to give them two kids. Then we go shopping. When I went upstairs, I put my hand on the knob on the door and it fell off. And I start shouting. And I shout and the people that was watching Winston Churchill uh, funeral, somebody go and get the police and the ambulance, fire brigade and everything come. And there was quick, we didn't have phone in the house. No, no mobile phone or phone in the house like now. It was not, nothing like that. And when the fireman came, he couldn't go in the room. It was too dark with smoke. He couldn't see. And he got to go outside around the back gate and, and push the hose, break the window and push the hose through the, um, the window and send in the water and let the smoke, you know, kind of die down a little bit. Then he come back around and go upstairs and he find the two kids. He couldn't find them and they was under there underneath the cot on the floor lie down it was terrible that morning very bad 
I, I never, never get over it. And it was in the paper and on the telly about these kids that died in Lipa because it was the first that happened to little children. There was only three and one was 18 months and they're gone. I never forget. Yeah. Very sad time. Hello, fancy seeing you here. What are you doing? I might say, what are you doing? Um, what I'm doing is, is rock climbing. I, I love climbing and this is the nearest place to Lark Hall that I can come to. Is this the only rock you have ever climbed? No, I've climbed some other rocks. Um, quite a number of rocks and mountains. Can you name them? Sorry? Can you name them? Can I name them? Oh, uh, Kishtawa Shivling, Soluta, Mont Blanc, the Matterhorn, Everest and a wonderful tower in the desert in, in Utah, in America, which we climbed last year. Now, what was it called? Castleton Tower. Are all these mountains in Bath? No, th th these are mountains all around the world. But this, this is my nearest rocks, so I like coming here. Why do you rock climb? I love it. I like, I like the movement, I like the excitement, I like going to beautiful places. I enjoy puzzling out the moves. I enjoy trying to get better, although that doesn't seem to happen very much these days. Uh, it's just, just very enjoyable. Can we try rock climbing? I'm sure you can have a go, yeah. Anyone can do it. I'm not sure about your shoes. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Hello. Like it around here, and the, the people are very friendly. Shirley over there, she's ever so lovely. Next door, my friend Audrey plays everybody ever so nice. And do you want to come here and live with me? Yes, good. What about you? Yes, and you? Yes, good. Can we go shopping? Yeah, we have a nice time in it. When you come and live with me, all of you got to call me Granny Aliens. <laughs> <laughs>